Well, this is uh, about the T41, which is a, a homebrew SDR. It's a transceiver. It's got a 20 watt output, and it covers 160 to 6 meters. Um, it, it's designed by Jack and Al here. It took us about seven years. You know, we've gone through uh, three editions of the book, which completely describes the radio. I'll show you the radio over there in a second. But it's got a uh, 200 kilohertz wide uh, spectrum. spectrum display with a waterfall. Uh, really good selectivity. It's equivalent to a, uh, a triple uh, uh, superhedrodyne. And uh, we've described all of it. it. It's available as a kit where the boards are available. Um, we think it, it stacks up against most any commercial QRP radio. It's it's designed for the person. It's it's named a T41 EP, and the EP stands for Experimenters Platform. Okay. And we have in the radio. You can get a shot of that. There's five main boards, and then there's some smaller support boards in the back. And our following online, we have 3,200 members who have contributed to this. But one of the men sells all 13 boards for 15 bucks total. So you can buy the boards, also all the wiring's done, and just populate it with the SDM. Uh, We've stuff. got probably a thousand radios out there that yeah. people have built. built or in the process of building. And there's some guys who have contested with it, uh, made contacts all around the world. We even have a guy in England who has added a second slice so oh, it's yeah. two receivers. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Built inside of the <laughs> one unit. So it's our goal was to produce a decent radio with good spectrum width on a lawn mowing budget, and I think that we've done that. Um, if you do bare parts, it's going to run probably a quantity one four hundred bucks to build. Yeah, but. Uh, we think you're going to end up with a radio that competes with commercial rigs costing 10 times as much. So anything that you can hear on like the Flex or the, the high-end Yezu or Icon, you can hear here. Right. And uh, it, it's customizable. So some of the guys have taken it and they, like Jack said, they've added all kinds of things to it. Well, and the other thing, Al's, Al's the physicist, the electronics guy, <laughs> I'm the software guy. And this has eight megabytes of software space for the program for you to modify. And we're only using 300 kilobytes of it. Oh, wow. So you have 7.7 .7 megahertz or megabytes of memory to goof around with if you want to. Yeah. It's there. You do, if you don't want to goof around, then go. Just build the radio and plug in the software. It's all open source. Everything's online, available for nothing. And it's all described in. In the, in the book. Yeah. Right. We sell the book on Amazon. Yeah. And the $12,000 price, we haven't sold any. Ain't got no autograph no. on that price yet? But we <laughs> sold a lot at 40 <laughs> <laughs> So, in short, if you like to homebrew, you like to build your own things, you like to tinker with electronics, and you like radios, this is a honeypot yeah. of what, yeah. you, what you would want to experiment with. Check and us so. out on Software Defined Ham Radio. Uh, All right. There's a group named that. If you type in software defined ham radio, our group comes up. Okay. We have about 3,200 members now. Good deal. You can see some of the specs and, yep. and things on the yep. board there in front. We'll get a close up of that. <laughs> Anything else to add? Or? No, uh, we appreciate you stopping by though. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate y'all reaching out and saying hello. So we'll see you next Hamfest. Yeah. Thank you.